when I arrived there, the suitcase was still on the ground, so I observed the suitcase. Uh, then, they did, then I uh, briefly left the scene while they did some further ex uh, excavation. Then I came back and watched them actually remove the suitcase from the ground. But just so that we're entirely clear, you, it was later confirmed that you were dealing with, in this post-mortem, um, Ms Grace Mullane. Yes. And in this case, there was an area of significant bruising. Um, and it was on the left side of the neck and it basically extended from the jaw down. If you look at your own neck, there's a very broad band of muscle which comes down the side of your neck called sternomastoid muscle. So the bruising was to the midline of that or just over more towards the, the, um, the right. There has been sufficient pressure in that place to, for a sufficient period of time and for sufficient force for that bruising to occur. The bruising wouldn't occur, I don't think, with a sort of a, a gentle pressure on the neck. It has to be something a bit more forceful than that. When you see a bruise, you can't tell whether something is the result of consensual activity or not? A consensual bruise? Well, the bruise doesn't tell you whether it's consensual, the result of consensual activity. No, all I can say is a bruise is there and then give my opinion as to what I think the cause may have been. And so, again, if we have a grab in the context of consensual but physical sex, this bruise here could have been the result in it. You simply can't tell whether that's a consensual bruise or not. Well, both of those could be. Are you agreeing with me? Yes.